Hi, welcome to this video on how to integrate Workspace ONE Unified Endpoint Management or Workspace ONE UEM for short and Workspace ONE Access. Now this integration is required for anybody out there wanting to configure hub services. So if we start off by looking at tenant which is already configured we can click the nine dots in the top right hand corner and select hub services. This will take us to the hub services configuration page and here we can see that this tenant's already been configured. Here we have all the options to configure hub services. Now if we switch to an unconfigured tenant, click on the same dots and click hub services, it will take us to the get started page. Now here you can click the get started button and it will ask you for the workspace one access tenant URL. If you already have an access tenant, you can enter the details in here. If not, click the request cloud tenant link. This will initiate the creation of a new cloud tenant for you. It will ask you for your username, your first name, last name and email address. Then click next. You'll then be prompted to select the region in which to create your access tenant. Here, I'm gonna select the United Kingdom and click next. And then to finish, I just click the save button. It will now generate the cloud tenant. This will only take a few seconds and within a few seconds you should receive an email to the address you specified telling you that the tenant has been created and giving you links to log into the tenant and reset its password for example. After a few seconds the tenant is completed and you should see the hub services URL is now populated which means you've set up integration between UEM and Access. Clicking the launch button on this page should now take you directly into the hub services configuration page. And here you can configure all the settings for your hub services. Hope you enjoyed that quick video on how to set up integration between UEM and Access.